All right, welcome to the digital SLR camera that has a big furry microphone up on top here. This is just a windscreen that keeps the noise of wind blowing into the mic. But this thing is a shotgun mic and it can pick up from quite a distance away from the camera. So if you get too close, it'll be distorted. So what I want you to do to use this camera, here's the on off switch. Right now it's on. And on the back, you have to make sure that this dial on top, I know it's a little bit out of focus, is on that position. Not one of these positions, but it looks like a little camera. Let's see if I can get it to focus in here. Mm, this is really having a hard time. Oh, there we go. So you want the camera view right there. And then on the back, you will be pushing this button right here to start recording. So when it activates, it starts recording, and you can see the numbers right here are counting down as I record. When I want to stop recording, I push the button again, and you can see it stops recording. If you want a preview, click the preview button right here, click the set button, oops, click the set button, and then hit the set button a second time, and it will start playing. And you can see the numbers right here are counting down, and you can preview it to see if you hear the sound well. We are not using the video for this file, but just the audio. And what we do with this camera is once it's done, turn the camera off, grab a cable from the box, head over to the computer, and we're gonna use the same cord that we used for the field recorder. It's the same USB kind of cable, and it plugs in on the side of the camera right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn the camera on its side, just so you can see the ports are right there and you plug that in, have the camera off, plug it into the back of the computer, turn the camera on, and automatically iPhoto or photo should open up on the computer. And once it's open, then you can import the video clips, drag those to the desktop, rename them, put it in a shared folder on the server for each person. You'll then import those video files into GarageBand and just extract out the audio.